A more aggressive R version of the 9 or 90 Duke has been introduced by KTM with improved brakes, a stronger suspension, and more power. In addition to being used for marketing purposes, KTM's nicknames for its bikes convey the company's perception of them. Because it provides unmatched precision on the road, the standard 990 Duke is known as the Sniper. However, KTM claims that the 990 Duke R is the Punisher, the most brutal of them all. Naturally, we were already aware of the 990 Duke R's athletic goals when Chris Fillmore of KTM participated on a couple Moto America Super Hooligans races with a pre-production model. The R logo style and the black and white color scheme are references to the 2011 to 2013 990 Super Duke R. As is customary for KTM, the 990 Duke R's orange powder-coated frame sets it apart from the standard model. Additionally, KTM modified the frame somewhat to make room for the Duke R's rear suspension linkage. With the handlebars a little lower and the foot pegs further back, the above alignment clearly demonstrates the sportier ergonomics. Longer travel suspension and a steeper swing arm angle allow the R to lean over an additional 3 degrees, resulting in a 33.1-inch seat height and an 8.3-inch ground clearance that are both 0.6 inches higher than the standard Duke. The Duke R has a higher center of gravity due to its 990-pound height, but its claimed curb weight of 418.8 pounds is the same as that of the non-R variant. The 947cc LC8C parallel twin engine is still there, but KTM has modified the engine programming to enable a wider rev range and boost peak output from the standard Duke's 123 horsepower to 130 horsepower at 9500 RPM. At 6750 RPM, the reported peak torque of 76 pound-feet does not change. With Sport ABS and a new Supermoto Plus setting, the electronics package is comparable to that of the standard Duke. Additionally, the 990 Duke R has next-generation switches and a new H88 TFT touchscreen dashboard, which the non-R model will probably get later. The redesigned dashboard allows for on-screen navigation and smartphone connectivity in addition to controlling the electronics. In contrast to the non-R model's 43mm fork, KTM outfits the 990 Duke R with a 48mm WP Apex open cartridge fork up front. According to KTM, the fork is 34% stronger and has a livelier feel. It is completely adjustable and has 5.6 inches of travel, compared to 5.5 on the 990 Duke. A new linkage system connects the rear shock to the swing arm. Nevertheless, the suspension travel is reduced to 5.5 inches from 5.9 inches on the 990 Duke due to the new components. Dual Brembo Stylema 4-piston radial mount calipers with 320mm rotors, as opposed to 300 on the 990 Duke, are fitted on the 990 Duke R. Its MCS master cylinder is likewise supplied by Brembo. The 990 Duke R has Michelin Power Cup 2 tires, which are road legal and designed for track use, in line with its athletic vibe. Early in 2025, the 2025 KTM 990 Duke R will be available for purchase at dealerships. The price has not yet been disclosed.